Asia's top security summit is about to begin, with Taiwan firmly on the agenda. From Friday to Sunday, top military officials from around the world will converge in Singapore for the Shangri-La Dialogue. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin is set to meet face-to-face -face with his Chinese counterpart to discuss issues including Taiwan, Hong Kong and Xinjiang. Japanese Defense Minister Kishida Nobuo will also meet with China's Defense Minister. He's set to expect warn China that Japan won't tolerate any use of force to change the cross-strait status quo. A South Korean F-15K fighter jet takes off from a runway, followed by an F-35A and a KF-16. On Tuesday, 20 military aircraft from the U.S. and South Korea engaged in joint exercises over the waters west of the Korean Peninsula. The joint drills were a response to North Korea's recent missile test. The same day, Japan's defense ministry reported that four Russian military aircraft flew toward Japanese airspace west of Hokkaido from the Sea of Japan. It was the first report of such provocative action by Russia near Japanese airspace in recent years, the ministry said. With tensions high in the Asia-Pacific, Japanese defense minister Kishi Nobuo is in Singapore for the IISS Shangri-La Dialogue, which will be held from June 10th to 12th. It will be the first face-to-face -face meeting between Kishi and Chinese Defense Minister Wei Fenghe. Aside from addressing tensions in the South China Sea and East China Sea, Kishi is expected to express Japan's opposition to any unilateral change to the situation in the Taiwan Strait. U.S. Defense Minister Lloyd Austin is also expected to meet with Wei and express the U.S.'s position on Taiwan, Hong Kong and Xinjiang, among other issues. Because we are close geographically, what could happen in Taiwan would likely be an issue for Japan. The U.S., China and South Korea, everyone is very focused on the situation in Northeast Asia in terms of a mechanism for mitigating the risks of a conflict with China in the South China Sea, East China Sea or Taiwan Strait. I just hope that through bilateral talks, they can convince China to avoid actions that would risk miscalculation. In recent years, Japan has grown increasingly concerned about the situation in the Taiwan Strait. Former Japanese Prime Minister Abe Shinzo said that a problem in the Taiwan Strait would be a problem for Japan, and Japan's Prime Minister said he would not accept any change to the status quo by force. This year, in its official economic policy guidelines, Japan included a footnote on the importance of peace and stability in the Taiwan Strait. If its military expenditures reach 2 percent of its GDP, Japan will become the fourth largest military power. Japan is very concerned about a future military threat from China, and one of its concerns is peace and stability in the Taiwan Strait. There are fears in Japan that in the event of an attack on Taiwan, China would also launch an attack on Japan to prevent interference by the U.S. or Japan in its conflict with Taiwan. With concerns high over China's military ambitions, Japan and U.S. officials are expected to relay their positions to China at the Shangri-La Summit in Singapore this week.